Hello again, welcome to my channel. So, quick video guys, I'm gonna show you, um, you know those hand singing ball things? These, what do we call them? Um, singing ball bell, bell bowl, handle, singing ball, singing ball with handle, I don't know. Um, all of the above I suppose. So, I've been through the ones I had the other day and I found several 4 hertz pairs. So basically these, these bowls, these pairs have got four hertz between them. It's really lucky in in that um, they're similar sizes, similar weights, so they're going to be similar frequencies, aren't they? And I've got one, two, three, four, five different four hertz pairs. Now I'm thinking of offering these up as four hertz pairs, because I've got several other bowls. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna keep one for myself. At least one um, and we go from there so let's show also I made this up which is uh, basically uh, that the handles on some of them are really dodgy and I've had to glue them in but once I've glued them in that's it they're solid they um, they don't come off and you can unscrew it screw it back on um, I'm using um, chemical metal and it's a lot better you know because I think that some of the handles have been on and off a few times and the threads are gone in them which is a bit silly really. So basically I found um, about five or six of these hardwood, uh, these are single ball um, sticks, but they haven't got any felt on them. I probably got more in my storage, but these are perfect. So I drilled a pilot hole and I put, these are four hertz pairs. This is C sharp five, five, four, one, C sharp five, five, four, five. Now, I think personally now, listening to this, that the dumbbell will be better with two different notes on. Maybe, I don't know, have a listen. It's pretty cool, like, you know. It's heavy, it's two kilos. So you could do this with a smaller set as well. I don't know, I don't know what to think of the dumbbell. What do you think guys? Let me know what you think in the comments. I think I'm going to try it with a different note, two different notes, I put an E on or D or E and F or something, a smaller one, because this is heavy, it's a two kilos, and you wouldn't want to be like carrying this around for long, you know. Okay, so um, so I did um, a bit of a, bit of a scathing review of one of my gigs the other day, of the audience and the venue and all the rest of it, but I played Saturday and it was incredible guys. The people were lovely. I mean, I played this venue multiple times, an outside venue again. Um, but yeah, fantastic. Lovely people. And what's heartwarming for me, there was some youngsters there, right? As um, three youngsters. They were all in one tent though. There was two boys and a girl in one tent. Say no more. And a dog. <laughs> right? But they were, they were really articulate and they loved what it, what it was, what I was doing. Um, they never been to one before, never been to a gong bath, and they were able to speak. Now, a lot of time these days, I find that um, younger people haven't got much um, conversation, they haven't got much vocabulary. Um, they're quite introverted in that um, they haven't got the social skills, because a lot of it's done online. So, th and this, this trio were lovely, fantastic people. Uh, and I had some of the, um, my usual, you know, my regulars and stuff, but a lot of new people too. So it was lovely. Uh, it's a shame the outdoor events are coming to an end now, but there you go. We can't have everything, can we? Everything comes to an end. So it was a lovely venue, lovely gig. I played how I wanted and it turned out to be absolutely beautiful, symphonic again. And I had exactly the same setup as the Friday night. So basically, I just unloaded my van again, and after I felt I felt absolutely invigorated, huge amount of energy, really happy, um, over the moon, you know, full of sort of like 
I felt really extroverted, you know, and laughy. It was fantastic. It was nice to see my old friend. Well, not she's not that much of an old friend, but I've known her for about five years, Lucy, who runs the um, Holistic Concept Retreat venue. And, you know, I hadn't seen her for a while. It was nice to, nice to give her a hug and, like, have a good chat and stuff. And she's looking great as well. And I told her so. Because the last time I saw her, she was anemic. And she was looking really poorly, really skinny, really pale, you know. But this time, she looked absolutely amazing. And I said to her several times, you're looking absolutely fucking fantastic and she was okay let's go for these balls guys and I, I like it if someone says to me oh Alex you're looking great and I said what a confidence boost you know but I genuinely meant I like it you know I meant what I said right let's have a look guys so we've got a pair of C5s this is 535 539 now I'd be, I was playing them like this and it's not easy. It's interesting though. Um, let's get a thinner stick, you know. It's heavy guys, the two kilos, these are at least a kilo each. So um, I think Winnie, Winnie said she was interested in some of this. So this video is partly for Winnie, partly for a couple of other people who were interested in hearing my um, my pairs. In the process of going through um, all the bowls I got last time, so I had the weekend off pretty much, bowl shop work. Um, I wasn't answering messages much or doing anything. Um, yeah, so I gotta go through the Ramuna. I'm absolutely skint now, guys. So please, please, if you're gonna place an order, please place it now because um, I am absolutely skint. The bowl shop is bankrupt. Well, not bankrupt. You know what I mean? It's got no money at all. All the money is in stock now. So I, I really need some sales. Please get your wallet out and buy some stuff. Here's a pair of E5s. Oh no, this is an E5 and an F5, how's that? Six, six. Oh, I tell you why. This one's 666, six, six. this 669, six, okay? So there's an E and an F. Now this this is gonna be interesting, isn't it? Whoa! This is more like it, guys. This is what I like, it's up there, isn't it? You know, fifth octave. I'll stop talking for a minute. Winnie, these ones made. Oh, they got different handles, which it kind of helps, you know, when you're holding them. They're not super heavy. That's a really nice pair. Someone doesn't buy them quick, I don't know. <laughs> so I love that kind of stuff, guys. The four hertz stuff, the entrainment. Like I said multiple times before, that's what it's all about. Forget about chakras and all that, it's invented. And there's nothing in the Vedas that say anything about chakras related to sound and notes. It's um, a way to sell bowls, effectively. So use your intuition, guys, you know, because everyone is different. Everyone is so different. You know, there's, no, there's nothing to say that an A affects everyone's third eye, you know, it's baloney. I know from years and years of experience of this, guys, everyone is so different, you know. You get people on your couch and one person is like one person, the next person is completely different. There's no way that, that, that this is going to affect two people in the same way. Because some people can't even stand this. 
other people, I other people love it. Some people can only tolerate low, low sounds, you know, like slow frequencies. Here we go, E5, 670. E5, 675. So it looks like there's, oh, yeah, there's five hertz between these, but I can live with that. So you do get a bit of fluctuation in that hurt, guys. You know, sometimes it's half a hurt either way. Wow, that's superb, isn't it? C's, yeah, C5, 518, C5, 522, this is going to be interesting, big, they're big balls though, very big. Ah, they are nice, aren't they? There's no doubt about it. Imagine having four on, on a cross piece, you know. Wow, like a double doji. There you go, guys. That's all of them. So I'm not going to go on and on about these. They're good. I can get them up for sale soon. But I think the big ones, are, if you come direct, they're 100 quid. And the others are 90. There you go guys, that's the end of the video, um, I'm not sure when I'm going to make another one, so I ha can't buy anything else at the moment, I'm completely broke. As I said, all of the money is in singing bowls. Right, oh, I have got some gongs coming soon, it's taking three weeks just to get round, get round to processing them. That's how slow these guys are in Nepal, so uh, I've actually paid for these. So. Uh, when he eventually gets them out to me, which is going to be another couple of weeks, by the look of it, he said he said they, he's going to send me a photo of them on Thursday, so if I approve, and then they get shipped. So you're looking at a couple more weeks just before they get shipped. So it's probably going to be six to eight weeks before this. You know, these guys, they're so laid back. I don't, I, I think they have a month holiday as well now. That's what's happened. They have like a month's religious holiday, and no one bothers going to work and everything. Crazy, crazy way to live, but you know, I don't know what's the best way to live, our way, their way. I don't know. I always seem to be chasing many me and always skint. There you go, guys. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.